Shabbat shalom, everyone. Shalom. Shalom, shalom. Today was a, a very, oh, let me record, and I'm recording, okay. Today was a very interesting parasha, difficult one. The whole book of Leviticus is not going to be an easy one for us, um, but it's, uh, it's one that I personally have been uh, struggling with over and over again. But as I, you know, as I was studying it, reading it became more and more clear for me. Uh, Miriam and I went for a walk yes, yesterday or the day before in the Hasidic community on the eighth day of, uh, of um, Pesach for us. We, we only celebrate in the Torah seven days, but as we know, the Hasidim have added one extra day, the Orthodox Jews over the centuries. And um, we, uh, there was one uh, Hasidic lady sitting on her balcony and we started talking to her. I, I waved to her and wished her Hag Sameach. And she said, come, come, come and talk to us. Come and talk to me. And she said, I have some latkes to give you. I have some, some shmura matzah for you. And then I, I asked her how she, are, uh, how she was. She said, 61 years I married. And every day was miserable. Every, it was the worst. It was a horrible marriage. I have five sons. And four of them are divorced twice. She says, it's very terrible to be religious. And, he, and this is what Yeshua was talking about. Of course, I couldn't talk to you about Yeshua. I didn't want to be stoned. But to tell you the truth, she understood religion. She said, religion is terrible, but she's stuck in the community. And it's so difficult for us. And what God wants and what he's talking about is about a relationship with him not a religion. So that's why I guess that's why this portion was so difficult because it talks about the laws of kashrut. Now there's nothing wrong with tradition. And if anyone wants to eat completely kosher, there's no problem. But we need to understand that there's not one word in the Torah of, that says kosher. The only place that we find the word kosher is in the book of Esther, where it says about doing the right thing has nothing to do with what we eat. Although there are certainly things that are in there that I would never eat. And I'm sure that God had a reason for them. And when you look at some of the animals that you were allowed to eat, to me, it's, you know, you look at the eyes of a, a, Miriam and I went to, a, went to see some animals this week in, in the shopping center. This man out in Lachute brought all the goats and the sheep and, and the little kids. That, and they were so cute. Who would want to eat that? But God allowed it. But it had a purpose. And only God really knows the reason for these things. How could we possibly understand it? So we have to just say some things are hukim, and we need to simply obey, and 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 but not make it so religious, because God wants the He's He wants our the intentions of our heart to live a moral life. Right now, the world is not living in a morality; it's an it's amorality, and our job as a as a a a, a nation that's united. Jews and Gentiles under one God to bring the rest of humanity into obeying his commandments. That's all we're being asked to do. So it's a beautiful, beautiful parasha. Now, does anybody have anything to say about it? I was thinking um, that sometimes the, the, the books in, in the Torah and the, and the Tanakh that seem so boring or hard to understand in some ways are the most amazing from one point of view. Like, for example, the book of Levit 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 Leviticus with all the rules and regulations. But really, it's basically saying that, that um, I'm setting you apart. Just have a relationship with me. It's such an honor, not only an honor, but an awesome thing. And all these regulations are often in reaction to what to to idolatry and to all the things that we displayed when we were in Egypt, et cetera, et cetera. But it's really simple. I want you to have a relationship with the creator of the universe. And it's for everybody. As you said, God wouldn't make 
the nations eat poison, only us, a small group of, 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 of Israelites are, are, are going to be saved. I mean, it just doesn't make sense when people say, well, one of the re reasons, is, uh, and I even thought that myself is some of the few foods prohibited are really dirty and, and dangerous, et cetera, et cetera. So the rest of the world should get poison. <laughs> but not only that, are, uh, it's, it's like when they say that a woman is dirty during her menstruation. We're not dirty. It has nothing that. to do with dirty. Tame no. and tahor. It all, it all right, has. Right. Yeah. I was going to say something about that also. From what I remember reading in the past, um, a lot of um, uh, of sexual, uh, whatever, not even deviance, but whatever sexual hedonism, whatever, a lot of practices involved um, blood, in sexuality expressed during a woman's period. Yeah. You know, like, you know, with, with all the blood and all. So, so the issue was to me was not had nothing to do with uncleanliness. The end result, as you say, is to give the woman a rest during that time. But I think the me meaning goes way beyond that. It's because that was the time that um, many cultures thought was the best time to have sex because it was most enjoyable. When really, it, it's it's a burden on the woman to have you know. So had nothing to do with clean cleanliness or not or anything, but a reaction to practices that especially um, set apart those times as the best time to have uh, sex. And if we think that it only happened in back in Egypt with all the idolatry, it's happening right here in the yeah. all yeah. over the world today in this right. modern day and age. Yeah. 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 It was, Mauricio, uh, do you have something to add? You always have good uh, points for us. Uh, Angel, you wanted to say something? Sure. Yeah, I'd like to say something. Yes. You know, yeah, you're talking about uh, about sex. We are talking about, you know, uh, uh, eating animals um, with the uh, cash root laws, uh, rabbinical, that they were put in place. Um, we, we can see the patterns, okay? In, in every aspect that the uh, we see that the creator gave us his word and and it tells us that there is a pattern, and the pattern, uh, the the pattern is, it's simple. It's, um, it's like it reflects this, the sanctity of life. Okay, um, how different is to be taught from one perspective of using fear. Uh, superstitious, uh, imposed, uh, without understanding of rules, you know, that it doesn't uh, allow us to understand and comprehend, but it keeps us in a state of, of, of not knowing, but just living without experiencing, you know, uh, the meaning of all of it. And then on the other side, we have the use of love, of care, uh, teaching uh, of knowledge of truth, uh, you know, that actually is the way how you can protect, you can uh, preserve life and, and the sanctity of it. So I'll give you an example, okay? The fear of you shall not touch the lizards or that you were saying, uh, uh, Peggy. Yes. Remember where they were, uh, the, where the uh, Israelites were in that time, in the desert, you know? Now, uh, you know, if you are a lot of people going out to, towards the desert, and even though you came out of, of, the, of Egypt with a lot of uh, uh, supplies, uh, you know, with wealth, or whatever, gold or whatever, but they have a lot of, uh, like, you know, it's a, if you are venture for a little week, uh, a little time, you know, a couple of weeks, it's fine. You still have, but when you start, spend a lot of time in the desert, you're going to run out of uh, supplies. And, and then, you, you know, uh, you need to keep your body. Uh, you need to sustain your body with food. Mm -hmm. If not, you die uh, with water at the same time. Mm -hmm. So now, in that time, I, I, this is my opinion. There is a way where you can teach people when they don't have any understanding or they don't have the consciousness, they don't have, is it to use certain rules in order to tell them, do not do that, even if you don't explain to them, but it's in order to preserve them from, even 
having you know uh, their thoughts because you're in the desert you're hungry you see a, a lizard you need to survive you know i don't know if you ever you uh, watch a uh, um a video or you know those uh, shows that are alone where they have to survive they don't have anything uh, this is realistic this is life this is a, a a condition where you either you do something about it or you could die except that then the show nobody's gonna die because you know they're gonna come and they're gonna uh, you know there are doctors watching it but you know the idea of 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 sometimes you need to um uh, you, we need to be responsible for our, our ourselves you know our body and we need to sustain our body with uh, nutrition nutrients you know? But just the idea of telling you don't do that and be uh, you will become uh, um, impure is that you know it, it, use the action of becoming impure and then coming back to the uh, to the Israelites you have to be separate and you have it's a lot of work it's a lot of things that you have so the people they would even bother to to do things like that and um, and also it, it won't have. You know, you won't have to think about it to kill one lizard and eat it, you know. Uh, so uh, this is one example used to tell you that. But if you can reverse the other example, like, for example, you shall not eat animals that they are impure that you find in the desert because they can carry a uh, disease. But if you tell them exactly, no, you cannot eat this because you will die. You know, you will get sick and die. Um, how many people die when uh, you know when the, the Lord brought uh, qu was quail meat birds, you know uh, didn't there is a lot of that they die because of uh, you know eating all that stuff because of the intentions of their heart. Yeah, so it had nothing to do with the animal itself. So with the animals. Yeah, but because the same thing. What I was saying is that why was it? not good for the Israelites to eat, but the rest of the world could eat them? Because it really had nothing to do with the animals themselves. Yeah, but, but you see that the intention of saying that not eat impure animals, because you are in the desert, and the animals in the desert, they are not, as we can say, the animals that they, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know eat, that you can eat and you can get sick, you know, uh, you have to be careful. So now you, just, you see the care and uh, for the people, you know, and, and you understand the commandment, why the reason is given to us. I see. But then, uh, you know, we uh, we went too much when, uh, you know, uh, yeah. we had rules and that they, sometimes they don't make sense and nobody understands why. That's what I was saying. Exactly. Yes, Mauricio. Sometimes, uh, this is just my theory. I, I mean, it's not a joke, but it's, I'm not, I don't put that much stock in it, but mm. it's interesting that the animals that were forbidden to be eaten. Actually, it's not really true. I think. Well, I mean, for example, a dog. The parts of the world now that eat dogs, and dogs are, are are have been, to use a cute expression, but man's best friend. And in a sense, that's true. They've been so woven into our society that they're they're very special animals. I can't imagine eating one. But even a pig. That's one of the most. That's so uh, forbidden and. For some people, that's the ultimate animal not to eat in the Jewish community, in the, uh, in the Muslim community. And pigs are considered one of the most intelligent animals. Like it's almost like, uh, you know. But what's it. sad for me in the Jewish community is that, in my community, is that the laws of kashrut have become more important than the laws of morality. Right. right. You know, it, 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 that's the first thing. Oh, do you keep kosher? That was the first thing I was asked. You know, do you keep they, kosher? And the thing is, when you eat an animal, you have to kill it, which means you have to touch that. I mean, you are experiencing the dead, and you become also, like, uh, I remember, uh, uh, I don't know if you remember Holben, when he, uh, you know, Holben, remember Holben? Yes, of course. Yes. When he was working, he worked in a, in a butcher, a kosher butcher store. Yeah. Uh, and he was carrying, you know, uh, kosher carcasses. meat, uh, carcasses. Yeah. And he was dealing all the time with that, you know, yeah. uh, impure, right? Yeah. Know. But because it's accept, accepted, you know, so he was able to, and, and in one day he was, there was a, a, a bee on the table and he killed it and crushed it. And the uh, the, ortho, the ultra-Orthodox saw that. 
and he got him and he said, okay, you, you, you know, you have to go to your house. You are impure until the, the... so here, here is that we become so fanatic with yeah. something with the dead that you, know, you kill somebody, but here is carrying like corpses of, of meat. And yeah. he just, you know, if you look at it, it doesn't make sense. No. You try to look at it. It's not, you know, we are bounded to a certain rules and we are not allowed to think for ourselves. Exactly. And when that happens, that removes our free will and our free, uh, uh, you know, spirit uh, of thinking and saying or deciding. But, but that was the beauty of listening to Yeshua's words. You know, when Yeshua said, your, your sages say this, but I tell you this, God look, wants us to think. I, I don't, I, I agree with the teachings of the sages that they are with their sole purpose of preserving life. Yes. Preserving life, but not to enslave people. Exactly. Not to enslave people, but mm -hmm. to make them the most important thing to, like when you have kids, oh good. You, you tell them, no, don't touch it. You're going to burn yourself. You know, yeah. you don't do this because uh, it's very dangerous. Even though if it's just a cup of coffee, you know, hot, you know that they're going to be okay. No, touch, you're going to burn yourself. You're going to, you could die, you know, in order to create fear. You know? But when you are adults, you know, when you become adults, you need to be ready. You need to, uh, you know, tell people, listen, the reason why we do this is because of that. Yeah. Now, let's not add more things because that is the problem. What we don't understand, we're going to start adding all that, you know, Someone comes and oh, well, maybe because of this. Oh, yeah, yeah, probably. So yeah. we keep adding, 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 and we get to the point where we get lost and we forgot the, our way back where we, we started from the beginning. You know, what was the real problem? Yeah. Ryan, did you want to say something? Everything that we do, we do it in love and understanding because everything creator that a creator made and a creation, it was made with a good purpose. It was a, a meant for us. It was all, you know. And we need to we need to to see it. Yes, Brian, did you want to say? You have to unmute if you want to say anything. I can't hear you. Uh, Scott. Oh, sorry, Brian. Brian, sorry, Speak unmute a bit yourself. Louder, Brian. So no. No, he's uh, unmute yourself. Uh, scallops and so-called uh, lobsters and stuff. And uh, oysters, and uh, they they suck in the water uh, from the bottom, and they process it. And we're not supposed to eat it, but uh, we can eat them now because they're, they're really cleaning the ocean. These these creatures. Okay. You know what, Brian? Um, if you were in an island and there were only crabs and there were only shrimps that you could eat. You know, but as long as there's garlic, <laughs> yeah, but you, know, you have to have garlic, otherwise, forget it. You will have to eat it because God has given the number one uh, a, a commandment is you know, it's ooh, the life yeah. that is in us, we need to preserve it. Exactly, but I think we have to never so, forget. Now, if you have a fish, uh, fish can, you have some worms. That you found uh, beside a palm tree there, you can dig and you can have a fish, you can fish. And you now, this is another thing. This is another thing. This is different. Now, you don't want to be you want to be lazy and you want to eat all this shrimp because you know, all the uh, sea uh, shells that you have there, you know, in the beach, it's easy for you. It's a that's another thing, but you don't want to fish because you are lazy. You don't want to do things because you're la then it's that you know, that is a problem. You know, it's a Everything that is easy is not always the, the best for us. You know? No. Usually let's give Mauricio, Angel, let's give Mauricio a chance to bring give some of his because yeah, we, yeah, yeah. we haven't it's, heard it's, from him in weeks. Like, no. yeah. <laughs> Shalom. Uh, yes, I, I, I think uh, God is looking to be he he he's different. His his way of thinking is different Amar. from other rest. Of us, that's why Isaiah says that his thoughts are higher than yes. our, right? So, uh, so we don't have to understand the reasons why exactly. he, he 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 decided to put these rules. Okay, 
Yeah. So, uh, but uh, excuse me for interrupting you. Yeah. We need to understand why, and I'm gonna tell you because when you know God, you know that He's not limited by our bodies. We are limited by our bodies as we are living in a reality in this world where it's physical. Okay. And this physicality where God is in us, but we are dealing with this physical and we we need to uh, uh, understand that. It's very important, you know. And, uh, um, you know, the reason why God gave us this uh, a teaching is because it's how he's trying to teach us how we deal with, with this reality, with this world, with this creation. I know, the but there's some things, Angel, that we cannot understand. We understand that we don't understand. Yeah, well, of yeah. course, when we get to yeah. the spiritual, yeah. there are things like, for example, uh, animals that they are in the desert, you know, and that they're impure, uh, you know, why we have all these laws of the Azazel, you know, send the, the evils, you pray and you put your hand. There is another concept in there, which has it's, people think that, oh, well, you kill an animal to eat, that's it. No, there is another spiritual behind. Nice. So, uh, uh yeah. You know, eating meat, there's another, I don't want to get to... Uh, it's okay, okay. But but yeah. but it, it is. It has spiritual consequences too. You need to write yeah. a, a teaching about that, Angel. Okay, okay, go ahead, Mauricio. <laughs> yeah, but, but, but you know, but, 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 but the point is uh, that, yes, it, it, it's, it's good to search the truth, okay? And that is supposed that, that we are... To, 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 to search the truth, but not necessarily to understand the, all the reasons. Right. Uh, because sometimes uh, I, I think it's more, it could be, for example, we didn't live at that time. So I'm not sure, for example, if other uh, uh, different peoples around Israel, they ate all these animals and they sacrificed all these kind of animals, uh, uh, or there was a rituals for them, or to adore all, all these animals. So it's got saying, because for me, all these rules are to, 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 to tell the rest of the world, probably not to Israel, but for, for the rest of the world, these persons are completely different. They they are separated and, and they are separated not only with the, the, the way of thinking or with the spiritual or religious uh, acts. Yeah, they, they, they are different, but also they are different, for example, with the <laughs> garments, for example, they are different what, for what they eat, okay? They have limited li limits. Or, or boundaries around them that make them to be separated, to, to be different. Uh, for example, today, how do we know, oh, this is a you, for example, because you can see a kippah or, I don't know, or probably um, the, gar the, the, the all the garments they, they are using, when you see a, a, a Orthodox you, you say, oh, he's using a, a wearing a black, I don't know, uh, uh, garments, and, and now I know he's a Jew, but, but you know, uh, but more, and this is something uh, it is from outside, and, and it's good, because that creates something like, we say in Spanish, identification, okay? Identify. Uh -huh, identify. So I can relate myself with this group, okay? We are different. We our behavior is like that, okay? It's a, a, a like a self um, to 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 feel part of something or or okay? So that that's creates something around us like like a like a wall that protect us, okay? Yes. Uh, I'm sure, for example, that if, we, for example, <laughs> I, 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 I'm going to tell you something true. Uh, when I use the kippa, I don't know why I feel my, my behavior is, is more holy. <laughs> yeah, well, you're called to a higher standard. 
Yeah, I call yeah. a higher standard because yeah. there is something that identifies me like I'm different. Okay. Yeah. And and, and, and it's not that I'm hypocrite. No. No. It's, it's not that it's just that I'm aware that I'm different. And there's a covering. Uh, You're covered by God. That's yes. the idea. And, and, and this yeah. is not what makes me more holy or no. more pure. No. No. It's, it, it's just that uh, is, for example, when you are a cop and you use your uniform, probably your, your behavior will be different. It should be. Yeah. Than when you are in particular. Exactly. Okay. So, so if uh, I see you in a kippa and then I see you go in and rob a store, mm -hmm. then I'm going to say, look at those Jews. Yes. When our, when, when we are identified by how we, as as a Jewish people, like there are people in our community who have done terrible things, as in every other community. Like with the case the other day of Bernie, you know, a few years ago of this man Bernie Madoff, where he was he stole a lot of money from a lot of people, and the world says, "Look at those Jews." But if I, you know, if I go out and I don't eat kosher, nobody's going to say, "Oh, look at that." that Jew, you know, she's not keeping kosher. It doesn't mean anything to the rest of the world, but our behavior mm -hmm. does, our moral behavior does. And that's why we are called to a higher standard. When we, uh, you know, when, when you, you, if, if um, you know, if, if you are a Catholic and you go and you s steal someone, the world doesn't say, oh, look at those Catholics. They'll say, look at that person. But something about being, a separated nation, the Jewish nation, we are called to a higher standard. So if you're wearing a kippah, people are going to see, watch everything that you do. Yes. Uh, so if a priest, when you do mm -hmm. something like that, you have to always think about beneficial, but not beneficial only for a certain group, in this case Israel, because stealing, still stealing. Yeah. And, and the lies that they say uh, that in the, uh, you know, that they fabricated. Of course, it. stealing is still stealing, yeah. but they don't say that about other people who steal. But it's stealing is stealing in the I, front. Yeah. Of we know that's that. Not the point. That's not the point, Angel. You missed what? my point. The, what is the point? The nation of Israel in, were separated from the rest of the nations. Yes. And our behavior mm -hmm. is is we're being called to a higher standard because God separated us. We but didn't you, separate ourselves because we lost we lost the the the, the call the meaning of, that the Creator made us. That exactly. it was to benefit the world, not to curse all the countries, but to bless them. But bless them to bring yes. the light, understanding, knowledge. Exactly. But not only that. Look, it's individual. Israel is one of the greatest nations in the world, in the planet, but it was put by the, our creator for the soul, for the purpose, because we have individuality, we have determination, okay? And uh, uh, one of the greatest, these are the, um, the greatest importance for transformation, okay? With these characteristics, the creator that put us on, a, on, on the Jewish uh, Israel uh, people, they were to transform the world. But yes. look what happens now. Why are there so many people hating Israel? So ask yourself, why? Uh, did we, did because we have forgotten our purpose and we're not because, living no, according to you, our purpose. The reason is simple, Peggy. The reason is we have been selfish. We got to the point that our qualities, they have become our curses because we lost the focus that the Creator gave us. Yes. Instead of being a blessing for all, all the nations, you know, no. Uh, we have been individual, too individualistic. We have been selfish. We have been all, you know, doing all dealings and all that. It, it, it's it's clear. This is what it happened. Okay. Yeah, it's a little bigger than that, Angel. But there is transformation. When we know, when Israel will know, again, the real purpose. Okay. And uh, th that is the transformation. What is going to happen? And I believe yeah. it's going to happen because it can yes, it will happen. It's but without, it'll take a mighty hand of God to do be, that. But we cannot, we need to do, the, as you say, always Teshuvah and Rabbi say, we need to come back from our don't, uh, things that we have done. Yeah. And, and right. Yes, uh, but, but 
probably just just to finish uh regarding this point is that uh, to put an example for example yesterday my kids uh, told told me okay that we want to go to to a house of of a friend of a friend okay so i don't know the parents i don't know and I, now they are uh, 16 years old so uh, i have to 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 watch out where 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 are they going and and i said okay i need the phone of the uh father of this kid because i need to know who is he where he lives what is the time you want to go and i want to know who is responsible okay if he doesn't call me then you shall not go so uh, uh, for this uh, for today uh, at least in our country to ask uh, a 16 years old kid uh, doing something like that is like you are a kid okay you are not your parents do not trust in you <laughs> and it's not about that it's about that i need to know where my kids are is to be responsible as father yes because so, you're their protector yeah i'm protector and i am responsible before god of his life and, and, and i need to go know uh, who is this kid because it's easy that today is is like to go into to 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 i don't know to any place for example uh to to find a, a a a candy is easy to find drugs for example right to 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 find alcohol whatever so and 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 I, and, and you know uh and, and they uh, start to 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 to, <laughs> to reproach me hey why you are doing something like that you don't trust in us no but the point is that you are different. We are different than all the the rest of the people because it's like oh, but it, all the all the rest of of the kids, their parents, just let them go, right? And, and they even probably they they don't have any permission to go, but they go, right? And when you start to to say yes, but you are different. We are a different family, so that. Is is something that when when I put this example with this portion, is like that saying, "Oh God, is that a shrimp or is that a lobster?" Makes me a worse person. No, it's just that you are different, and you have to have boundaries. Not only how you wear, you have to go naked as many people that get out naked uh, to, to the streets right but because you are different right separated okay? holy that's you what you are means. holy you are holy yes yeah and, and now with with the food is the same okay right. it's not about that that yes as angel said okay it, it, we we will read in this in this uh, book of Vaikra that the reason of the commandment is to live okay so that's why also the rabbis says okay if you are in 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 the middle of i don't know of a place that there is nothing to eat more than a pig then you have to eat right because by the commandments you shall live right okay it's not to to, to kill you Okay, so for me, it, 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 it's not about, uh, yeah, th there are something else that I, I remember that Rabbi Chemi once, he said uh, that for him, God, uh, is that we absorb different energies, okay, from what we eat, because that is exactly what we do, okay? For example, when you eat an animal, okay, and you you eat that animal, you absorb the energies of that animal, and you, and this energy becomes in sugars, 
and proteins in whatever your your body needs and, and, and it helps you to 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 it, it, because you what well, well, we eat on honestly are atoms okay <laughs> that's the point so but but and, and he said okay when you eat for example and, and especially in 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 some countries is very important for them uh we're gonna eat this aphrodisiac animal right and, and they a what and, animal sorry? aphrodisiac Aphrodisiac. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and you said okay how could be yeah because you absorb some i don't know what that what what hormone eats you that 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 produces you some desire okay and it could be uh, shrimps lobster whatever oysters okay oysters <laughs> yeah and things like that uh, or, or crab shells whatever and, and then and also for example if you eat uh, a meat for example that is allowed to eat but if you go to a place usually i have seen that in this country uh when, when there is no kosher shaharit uh, to the animal these animals really suffer that's a problem and, and all these yeah. all these kind hormones. of hormones yes yeah. cortisol you yes. absorb yes the animal yeah. death because uh, uh, so what you are eating is not something that is uh so good for your body okay yeah it's and i'm not sure of, today yeah. i'm not sure today if the if the kosher animals they may be killed in a certain way but i don't know how they're raised and if they're raised like you say with a lot of fear then they're going to have those high cortisol levels so that's why you know god wanted god wanted us to be merciful to the animals and not make them suffer before they died which would make it healthier for us if we were going to eat them yes and, and, and but but the point is is so, sorry is yeah. not about um is not to be kosher because yes mm -hmm. kosher is just as a stamp commercial stamp well, today. A brand today today exactly merchandising yeah okay. it's more expensive but yeah listen, it's more expensive it's what, a did business. Yeah. what did you show to us that don't worry about what you eat what you it put in your about. mouth it goes up what yeah yes. exactly and that yeah. is the part it represents the being that you are yeah you know, the, 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 the but he was he was directly in that he was directly it, challenging hold on because with that quote and i didn't finish the end of it he was directly challenged you know when you go into a kosher restaurant they always have a sink with a, a pot and you have to do the prayers and do it over your wrists it wasn't even about washing your hands it was about certain prayers before yeah. you eat and that's what he was challenging it's not about having clean hands it's about having the you know the right intention it, it, it that's what he also, was so i think kosher from what i understand the kosher laws uh, israel was becoming a developing nation and and they were dealing with pagans surrounded by pagans and and they were involved in that themselves so it was a way of separating themselves as we said as a nation at that point and also the other nations would offer what their gods were sheep and cows and, and et cetera, et cetera. So God was saying, you could eat those animals. Just they're not gods. They're just animals. You know, so you, please, so please, Angela. Hold on, hon, Angela. Just for a second. So what I'm saying is, but Shabbat was given as a statue forever. And kosher was not given from, I don't remember reading anywhere where it says as a statute forever. It's a principle of separation. And I think, I'm not saying, anyway, that's my point, I think. But that, that whole idea of separation too, Miriam, had to do, if you go back to the beginning of the whole portion with the death of Nadab and Abihu, here they were setting up as their own traditions, their own way of doing it. If you step back and you look at the bigger picture, it's all it all has the same idea behind it but you know, let's go to the beginning when we started to eat animals and what is the reason why we started to eat animals or we were allowed by the it uh, was after the flood after why? the flood because there after were no the vegetation flood, yet there was no vegetation how are you going to survive exactly we he put animals on the ship for us that were clean and unclean that we but, could eat 
Anyways, uh, he didn't put uh, he didn't put uh, carrots. I don't know about, talking about, about the food. Do you know that energy, as you were saying, the, uh, certain uh, nutrients or vegetables do you call energy, what we eat, what we feed off, they have a, a frequency. Okay. Yeah. It is proven. They have tested that when you eat meat, has zero frequency. It is like it's very low frequency. They make tests that when you, your body is at a certain frequency of resonance, you know, you are healthy. When you go below that frequency of resonance, when your body is resonating a certain frequency, you can, you are easy to get cold, you are easy to get sick. And it's proven that meat and all that stuff, it keeps you very low. But when you have a fresh vegetables, you eat fresh vegetables, that they are just, you know, uh, pick up from the garden, that it has a higher uh, frequency resonance. And it helps your, uh, your, your body much more because of the, uh, it's, it's like eating live food instead of dead food. There's a big difference, you know? The big but there was no, there were no, Miriam, the, the carrots and, and all those fruits and vegetables wouldn't have lasted without refrigeration on the, on the ark for a whole year and a half until they were able to be on land. All they had was the meat that they could eat. It, it was after you the know, flood. I think we're trying to, I think there's something more than that. Personally, I think that. that of course, there's always something. No, more. no, no, I know. And I don't mean it in that sense. I just don't think, for example, I don't believe, listen, then whatever, this is not spoken with a great uh, knowledge base. I just don't have a feeling we're going to be eating animals in the renewed earth. That's my feeling. We're not talking about that. We're talking no, no, about no. today, so here when, and now. I know, but based on, I yeah. don't think in the Garden of Eden we, we ate uh, animals. I doubt it, because it, it talked about it after the flood. But who knows, because Cain and Abel brought, uh, Abel brought uh, an animal offering. So yeah. I think they were eating. But right. whether in the garden, I don't know. Probably yeah, after. So. Anyway. I Brian, I Brian, I know you want to say something, but I keep turning off your, your uh, putting out you on mute because you have a fan going and your fan is making static. Something in your system is making static. When you when you turn okay, unmute yourself and ask your question. You can mute your unmute. Okay, what were you gonna say? The, the lady in the house here, she says she's rich, and I didn't tell her if you're so rich, why don't you help somebody with if you're if you have a million dollars? That would be a good thing to do. I never understood why very wealthy people didn't wouldn't help those who didn't have. That's the problem with our world today. And she don't uh, help out, you know? Okay. You're right. Hi. You're right. But you know something, Brian? Instead of help and standing, pointing a finger at someone else, are we helping? We can't change anyone else. We can only change ourselves. But she don't uh, help out and she uh, don't... Uh, uh, She's got million dollars. She can uh, move out of this place, live by herself, and hire people to serve her. Did you tell her that? I didn't want to tell her that. that well, time. you got to tell her and not us, because it's only going to make a difference if you tell her. If or you, you tell us, there's nothing her. we can. Huh? <laughs> or he can engage with a lady. Oh yeah, if she's so... rich, maybe you should get married to her, Brian. She'll take care of you. No, she don't like me. She doesn't like you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, it was an okay for the next two weeks. Mauricio is going to be busy. Next week, you're bringing a message, and then the last week of April. There's just two more weeks in April. The last week, I'm going away to a bat mitzvah of my granddaughter, so I won't be here. Um, and the Alvarados suggested that I send everybody the document that we we share for the liturgy so that you could follow along, because I don't know if Mauricio are, is going to be able to share his screen in the same way that you do on Tuesday. We're going to have to work it out, Mauricio, but thank you for taking uh, that role. And um, uh, I, I mentioned it also to uh, Andre, so 
it'll be my first time away in like three years. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. My first, my first time away from this community since we've been on, for sure, since we've been on Zoom. And um, anyway, I want to wish everybody, uh, Sarai, Priscilla, come. How are you? Hola. Bien, estamos muy bien. Sí. Ángel, hola. Buenos días a todos. Did you, did you ask them, uh, wow. Mauricio, ask them if they read the message in Spanish that I sent. Eh, Le hice el mensaje en español que te mandó Peggy. Sí. Uh, does she have any comments? ¿Algún comentario? Bueno, bueno pues este... Todo es muy importante lo, lo, lo que envía este Peggy y bueno, la, la información es, pues que puedo decir que muchas gracias por, 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 por compartir este, la enseñanza. Eh, esto reafirma en, en mi madre y, y en mí este when uh, she said that thank you for sharing the message and this um helps to to her to 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 Sarai and her mother to affirm her in 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 in, in their way good but we we need to pray for for Sadi because um she needs to work she needs to find work um, so that she can continue her studies in nursing. And uh, it's very hard for, for single mothers, you know, in this day and age, especially as things get more and more expensive. Um, can you ask her if she needs anything specific right now, Mauricio? Uh, ¿Necesitas algo en específico? Está preguntando Peggy, referente a, 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 al tema de estudios, a, a cualquier tipo de necesidad. Lo que pasa es que como eh, no tengo el calendario, entonces no sé en qué número vamos de la cuenta del Homer. Entonces esa es, esa es este, la cuestión de que digo, creo que vamos en el 10, en el número 10 o 9. Por ahí, por ahí vamos. Oh, yeah, it's not, it's not in the calendar. No es en el calendario de nuestro calendario. Um, but you can Google el día. What, what are you talking about? It, it's the, we have to Omer. Say, last oh. night, yeah, tonight, Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Alam, Asher Kiddishonu B'Mitzvah Tov Al Sefirat HaOmer. And today, uh, uh, esta noche, diez. Diez. Esta noche. Okay, entonces la voy a apuntar aquí. Sí, es en el, <laughs> es, es en el bullet, bulletin. Bullet, how do you say bulletin? I put it in the bulletin. 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 <laughs> okay. Cada, cada Shabbat, mm -hmm. I, I put it uh, in the bulletin. So, and, and you know, and, but I know you have a big challenge, um, Mauricio, when your kids are that age. You know, I, I, it's, it's not only the, the drugs, but the sexuality of the young girls today. I, you know, I, I saw on Facebook that your two boys, they look so good. And the dresses that those two girls were wearing, let me tell you, and, and guys are very hormonal as teenagers, that it's very difficult for them. We have to pray. Oh, my goodness. You have a lot of education to do. So, so finally, what happened? Was the father going to be there at this party? Yes, his Good. father was there. Um, so, uh, uh, and we asked them, okay, you gotta send us your ubication all the time you were at that home because we need to know that you are, are there. Okay, so yeah, you know, at the end- Yeah, but he may it. be there and serving them drinks, you know? <laughs> no, you, you know, that's 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 the point. So- yeah. Um, but 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 you know, for me, it's more important education than prohibition. To to to, to forbid. No, you don't have to do the. No, exactly. The, uh, no, it's not the way. It's just 
that is like the Torah is instruction. Exactly. That help and they're going to fall. Live. They're going to fall and they're going to fail like we did. Yes. Yeah. But they, but they, they have to be aware that that even if you fail, then you have a God that loves you and 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 cares about you, about your feelings. And yeah. That you need to fix all what you your mess. Okay? Exactly. So, but but yeah, as you said, it's very difficult to at, at this moment of their age because you know we, we, they are between to be an adult and to be killed and yeah, to be a child and 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 the point is in their phys physiological body they are experimenting different chemical changes hormones are raging hormones and your body is changing exactly um your also, voice also you are still a boy, a kid yeah. and you are and you want to be a person and you yeah. have to 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 guide them to know that they're free the the, the freedom they have they have to be responsible yes. so and, and, and you know exactly what the torah is teaching us yes and, I, want, I, I wanted to so hold on and i want to ask you a question marcio miriam and i were talking yesterday does it say somewhere that the angels do not have free will to make like because they talk about fallen angels is that something that's created are there fallen angels are there demonic forces are there you know because if if the angels have free will and have no free will then how did they choose to fall yes Andre. okay i can answer that um according to your opinion according to my opinion um Okay, there is a big difference between a being, okay, either angel, either human, okay, who who chooses to live life according to uh, the creator's uh, establishment of rules, okay. In our case, we were given the Torah, we were given some. Uh, 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 Scripture. No, I know about our case. What I want to know about the angels are there demonic forces that are no. that are constantly. This is, this is parallel. I mean, this is as is in the earth is in heaven. So it means that in the same way that we have in our planet people who chooses to follow a life, you know, with morals, with integrity, with uh, 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 caring about life, there is the opposite side that they only care about themselves and they don't care about the rules that God has created and set up in place as a, and, and they don't care about a, a divine uh, a plan or divine agenda that the creator has put so that the entire creation, and I'm talking about, you know, uh, not only on earth and in our universe, in the multi-universe, there is a certain uh, establishment that the creator put in place. Now, the angels would decide not to be part of that, to separate themselves, to follow this. They, uh, you know, by doing that, they have created their own. And but that's the question. What, Angel. That's the question. Angel. The question I'm is, asking. Do angels have, have free, free will? will because they can't decide. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, absolutely. They have the free will. Okay. Now, but they, but when they are reached that level, okay. The um, the, is, the is that your opinion or is yeah, that written this somewhere? Is my, this is my opinion. Okay. When you reach that certain point, it's because you have reached a level of consciousness where you know exactly who you are. Angel, I, that's not what I'm talking what about. Is. So yeah. you are deciding to be part of this creation. Okay that the creator made as a part of him. And and this is what, it, when you realize who you are, you know from the moment that you know that God is in you, you know that, that the part of God that is in you, okay, it doesn't belong to human, to a human being. It doesn't belong to humanity. 
it belongs to the creator. Okay, okay. hold so on. When you know that, when you know that, you know that you are part of him. Whether you like it or not, you cannot escape, you cannot go anywhere. God is with you since the moment you were born. I'm not or... asking that, Angel. You're yeah. on a tangent. I'm not asking that. You're asking if they have free will. Yes, they do have free will. Okay. That's, that is the reason okay. why these angels, they came and they were put on earth. Okay. You know, Hold, okay. Hold on. Hold on now. Because we don't have a lot of time. Mauricio, I want to hear your side because I know it's different. Uh, for me, uh, the the first we need to understand what is um, a, 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 an angel. Okay. A malach. A malach is not... On, it is different is very uh extended concept okay because could be just a message could be a, a messenger could be yeah yeah but 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 in the terms of what ezekiel for example uh, start to to say that there are cherubims and and these are uh, something like uh, uh uh beings that have uh, wings so is it, that is written so right. but we need to understand that that Ezekiel do not look at them with their with his eyes okay because he he was in in a moment of prophecy which means that he was between this world and in a spiritual world okay so uh, based on that uh, they don't have a corpse uh, they don't a body. have a body yes right they don't have a body so they are not physical and uh, so if they are not physical they are not limited by their body they don't have to fight oh i want to eat or i want to to have you know uh a fight i don't know all, all these things they don't have the, the this body so, so the, the concept of, of that possessing a body, can it possess a body like almost enter? Because there are people who they say are possessed. It's almost no. like they, they, they are even become disfigured. They, they. No, no, that, that doesn't exist for, at least for me, it okay. doesn't exist because uh, in, in, your, in your body, you have a soul. Okay. Right. And your soul can absorb uh, different energies around, okay? So you decide to, to, to be or act in some ways, but it is not possible that if it is, it is written that God is inside of us, how could be that some demony comes inside you? Is God Be not because, powerful? Yeah, because I was just reading, you know, I was continuing to read Matthew, and I don't know how to read the New Testament anymore. I'm very hesitant when I read it. And he's talking about uh, the, the disciples casting out these demons. And one of the things it said, why, why were you not able to cast them out? And he was giving them heck, because he says, you don't have enough faith. Are these, are these added uh verses from other religions like the catholicism add that when yeah. jesus refers about not having faith he's referring about knowledge when you know something you don't have any doubt about it you know how it is you know uh, and and when they talk about it they say that the reason why is look know every human being okay it's itself by its own. There are some that they are host of these entities. These uh, call it demons, call it uh, uh, other spirits that have, you know, uh, uh, take over the person. And and this person somehow has been uh, um, disabilitated. How to say this? Uh, disabled. Disabled. But this is this is the opposite of what Mauricio is saying. And I don't know if there's anything in the Tanakh that addresses that because I don't trust the New Testament anymore. But, I don't okay. trust For yeah. example, there, there is a, a Shaul. Okay. Remember right. Shaul? Yes. Okay. 
this man, this king, king okay, uh, what, if you look at his, at his life, okay, he was uh, handsome, he was a very tall gentleman, and, and for the sight of the man, he was the, the perfect king of Israel, okay, he comes from Benjamin, and remember what happened with Benjamin in the judge's time, they kill a woman and and and, and, and just I chopped her up in pieces. Yeah, yeah. And sent her to the different so tribes. Barbaric. They, yeah, they were very barbaric. Okay, so and, 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 and you know, okay, then they chose this person because for the Israelites at their side was the perfect king. Mm -hmm. So God said, okay choose this guy then i gotta elect someone according to my heart and apparently he was not who is david he was not better than shaul honestly if you look very objective right why because david was was a a, a killer honestly he, he had a lot of blood in in, in his hands right but at the end uh what happened with shaul he, he start to to be a a, a, a disobedient person. Remember what happened. And in, 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 in the point is, if you read in David and in, in, in Shaul, both of them, I asked to myself, do they know the Torah really? Why, for example? In this chapter of the Haftarah in, with Usa, if you read carefully, uh, God already prophesied before that because of the sins of the disobedience of Israel, the ark, which means his presence, will get out from Israel and go to the Philistines. And what happened with, the, with this energy of God inside this box? Okay, of the ark of that own. Okay, when Israel was living like Sadiqs, okay, like Sadikim, eh, brings uh, something good for for the people. Okay, brings something uh, blessings to Israel. But what happened with the Philistines? Is the same ark of God of Israel, but in, in a wrong place, what happened? They start to have plagues, plagues, and they have diseases. So they decided to return back to Israel their own because for them it was not good. But, it, said, but in the home of Obed-Edom, which you just read in the Haftorah, yeah. it was blessed. They were blessed. Yeah, they were blessed. But, 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 but you know, it, it's the same energy of God but in the wrong place where is no Torah, it was not a blessing, okay? But on the right place, there was a blessing. Then if we are still reading, um, it says that, that they will decided to move from, from Abel house to Jerusalem, right. the, the, the ark, right. okay? Uh, and then Usa saw that the that in the the cart the the, the cart just stumble and, and, and probably fall and right. hit the, the, the yeah. But but when you look at this, he died. Right, because he wasn't supposed to touch the ark. Yeah, but yeah. the question is, did Usa knew that? Know that? I Which probably is probably why David was so mad because he didn't tell him. No, he, because... it was the job of the king to read the the Torah. The Torah. Yeah, to the whole community. But but yeah. but but after Usa died, yeah, he he gathered persons to ask them, how do we? How do how, we bring it? How we bring it? Uh, so he didn't read the Torah. No. <laughs> No, he didn't know that. He, he he didn't know the Torah. Yeah. So, um, so honestly, David did not 
know the Torah at that time. Right. Okay. And then you you start to see that every six steps they offer a, a, an animal. Was that written? No, was not written. That was something for 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 David to do. Repentance. Uh, yeah, but but it was not written. Right. Okay. Once, second. Um, so it, for that reason, we we, we can learn that sometimes our good intentions are not enough right we need to 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 bring knowledge okay in in, in regarding to what angel said yes knowledge is the key okay? right okay. but but i now yeah. then we have from the other side in the in this portion nadab and abihu right it's the same case of of of, of uh, Usa. Right, exactly. They did not have enough respect. Enough. Um, they were not aware about. Their father didn't what, teach them prob yeah, probably. But, yeah. but but they didn't know that they couldn't enter and offer a, a nation Sarah. Okay. Did and they not they know? Killed. They were in the tent for seven days. Yeah. They had the same training. No, but 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 yeah, they have the same training. Yeah. But if if you read carefully the the chapter, then you're gonna see uh, that in the procedure they that Aaron in 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 Itamar and the other son of of a Pharaoh did, they made mistakes. So because they didn't eat the, the 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 offering first second uh, moses told them hey you 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 do not prepare uh, correctly the, the 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 offering of a of a, a sin and, and and then you 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 can see that it's not about really uh following the rules in, yeah, because he was basically in, they were in mourning. Their brothers had yeah. just died, you know, yes. so not understood. So yeah, but 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 the point is not to have respect. And then we we come back to 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 Shaul. Shaul, it was the same thing. He didn't know the Torah, but but when you see the intention of Shaul as king, he didn't repent honestly. Right. He and he always said, it's your God. He never says it's my God. It's my God. Yeah. First. Second, what he did. Do not follow the Torah. Do not say, oh, I'm going to say, make the Shabbat. David did. But he he, he never, he, he was not um, care about right. having the Shabbat. And, and so, then but... he, he went to break another rule of the of the Torah, and he was to to consult to uh, uh how do you say bruja? a witch a, a witch, witch. Yes. a bruja, which is why. But that's when it says the evil spirit came upon him. What does yeah. that mean? That that your your okay. There is not such thing like a like energy that comes from outside of you that comes into you is the same what Yeshua said. It's not about what enters to your body, okay? Is what gets out, out from, comes out from your heart. So when it says that an spirit comes to, 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 to Shaul, okay? A evil spirit, for me is like when you get a disease, Okay, like Sarat, for example. The Sarat start to, to appear in the skin of the persons, okay? Right. But it was not something that comes from the outside. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, like a, a mosquito comes and, and, and hits your skin. No, mm -hmm. it's not about that. It's about something that comes from the inner part of you. So... When you give the opportunity to your, uh, from your Yetzirah to have the control, okay, 
then it's like this part of your emotions, this part of 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 the of of, of your yourself takes position possession, yeah, or yeah. takes um they decide by for you, okay. For example, a person who every day is drinking not one beer, but a lot of beer, for example, and then he he becomes a a person who is alcoholic. Mm -hmm. and, and this person drinks a lot. Then from his inner uh, body, he demanded to to this person to drink more. And they say, I, I cannot uh, handle this. And is is the same with the sexual. It's the same with um I don't know. Uh, with food, with with a lot of things, wh whatever you you want to 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 call, so they take possession of you, and and, and you give the permission to these emotions, attitudes, whatever you want to call, to 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 take the control of yourself. Yeah, and I know that emotion so is is not something that is from outside. Mm -hmm. Interesting. It's something that that you provoke to you from yourself. Mm -hmm. For example, a person who cannot handle their anger, for example, mm -hmm. a person who is intolerant and, and, and he, he solves everything with a, a punch. I don't know. Mm -hmm. So it is, this person has lost the capacity to decide by, by himself or by herself. Mm -hmm. So Rav Shaul, sorry, King Shaul, happen the very same thing okay why because he decided to uh, to set apart from the torah okay to to look at himself and decide by himself and then you can see how this person becomes an angry person a violent person who cannot control and then it says that when they build start to play music he calmed down. Right. So, but how could how could they be calmed down? Because it is very easy. What he he played. Okay, with 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 a, with a, with the music, he played. Honestly, for me, is something that he wrote a lot of tailings, right. a lot of songs. Right. So. So what he was hearing, something good. <laughs> and, and then he he calms down. Yeah. So, but the point is that he was not possessed, but some external energy was possessed by himself, by yeah. something like Paro. It says that Paro, he, there was a, a moment that God <laughs> allowed to, to do what he wanted to, to do right so then he, he cannot return back mm -hmm. so for, for the, the and so this is very important because uh it's not about this kind of demonies right or, or it's, that it's because yourself. we don't want to take we don't want to take responsibility to the level that our own bodies and our own emotions can bring us because we can even think ourselves or or believe ourselves into paralysis we can do all kinds of things through the emotions from within. I, I I tend to agree with you that it's more that than giving it to an outside force. Although yes. there are those who would disagree. We are just discovering, Peggy, how we are made of and how uh, our body uh, has different, uh, it's made of different. It's not only uh, the aspect that you see, the 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 physical, no, it's it's more, and it, it, we're starting to discover how frequencies can uh, affect us, right? And uh, how uh, people who are under certain conditions with low uh, vibrational uh, situations, right? And that includes uh, drinking and uh, you know doing all sorts of uh, of extreme extreme uh, uh, things that they are not good for us, brings us to that state, 
right. the point is even uh, we see in the scriptures the story of uh, Nabucodonosor like uh, become like a beast right you know uh, turn into, into into an animal to that point it, this is when we we allow these things that affect us you know uh, to take over us right now uh, the the expert of energy it's it's real it's very real yes uh, to the point that uh, all these stories that we see in the scriptures okay men that they are uh, influenced by the spirit to to take down giants like in the case of david or men that they are deal or samson with, or samson or uh, like uh, a man who uh, dares to go in front of the court court of egypt and asking to th- deliver all the Israelites that they were slaves from the Egyptians. Right. You have to have very, uh, uh, la husp, uh, in order to go there and say, okay, yeah. uh, you want to get out with your neck still on? Uh, you know, exactly. uh, <laughs> you, this is an, uh, it's by the, you know, when we have the covering of our creator, okay, uh, there is certain aspects, okay, of, uh, that goes beyond our physical understanding that it's out of us they are uh we have uh, our ancestors okay our our family relatives you know uh through through through, through time you know uh, we have uh we have uh, the, the you know some benevolence uh, you know presence of the uh, of some angels you know that they, they watch over us and um uh, and they, to the point that, you know, they, they guide us and they, they protect us, uh, you know, um, just to give an example, remember, uh, was the prophet Balaam who is trying to go with his ass or with his horse or whatever he was riding. And there was an angel in the middle, you know, uh, that is a clear example, how they are force exterior forces that protect us. In this case, it was the angel trying to stop the this uh higher prophet to curse israel you know right so th- there is things that we cannot see through these eyes but we can only see through the eyes of the soul of the heart and that is when we are when we have reconnected when our relationship with the creator is connected exactly we can that because we are going beyond this dimension we go in, you know in, 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 a, in a in a more uh uh, you know, spiritual. Uh, we enter so, another dimension. We enter eternity. And and then when that frequency, which I love, is the frequency of love. You know, it's yeah. connected. You know, we are unstoppable. Then nobody can stop us because exactly. the love of the Creator is in us. Yeah, and the Creator, the part of the Creator is in us. Yeah. you know, we can do anything. All right. Well, let's now just yes. just to finish. Okay, um, is is about the Malach. Uh, the, the, these malach have a, a role, a specific role uh, from, from, from God, according to, to what we read. For example, Raphael, Rafua, healing. Gal, healing. Um, for example, Gabri- Gabriel, Gabor, Gabor, Strength, yeah, Michael, power, Michael, Titan. So it is like different roles of the creator in the world. Okay. Even this malach of, of 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 death, he has the is not bad, but it is not bad. Is not evil. It's just that has a role to pick up all these all these spirits from this world to to another place. Okay? Exactly. And so that that is just that. But uh, the problem is that that like everything is mixed. Okay, people gives power to all these uh, uh, all these angels, but they don't have power by itself. They just follow an order from the Creator. Right. So I'm gonna let you with this with this thing. Okay, this thought. Yeah. About this, if the angels are able to come to our planet to bring a message. And usually when they come and they are ordered to come is because there is something that humanity needs to be 
reconnect it or re put it back because if not it's, it just would lead us to destruction in this case whatever happens with Israel we were uh, you know a straight on you know to guide us and to continue us so that our life continues no it becomes like a you know destruction we wouldn't survive but if an angel was stopped by all the principalities in this case the story of uh, Gabriel Gabriel okay that he had the need of Michael to come and assist him. Now we're talking about heavens, okay? We are talking about something is going on. Now think about it. How is that? And who has to be and what has to be that doesn't allow you to leave the planet, number one. And number two, that you need to be supported by someone, okay? Else, in this case, Michael, in order to assist you, in order to leave, you know, the planet. So now think about that and think what could that be? And, and, and when you know, you know. When you know, you know. When you see and you understand who an angel is, that they are, all, they are made like us, but in a, they are in a, in a state where they don't have, uh, how can I say, uh, the duality that we have right now, like we have humans where we are able to do evil and we are able to do wrong. Okay. I mean, uh, to do good. And, and that is, they, they have in a different state, but they still have the free will because everything in creation has uh, free will. But you think about that, that he need in order to leave through heavens to leave he needed someone to come over, assist him, so he can leave. So now think. Okay. That was very interesting. Thank you, everybody. I want to wish you Shabbat Shalom. And um, Shabbat shalom. enjoy the rest Shabbat of the shalom. day. And we'll, God willing, we'll see you uh, well, Tuesday for Tertulia. And Wednesday for Toro. Oh, this week I'm not going to to have Tertulia because no. I have to go to to Guatemala. So oh, wow. I'm not sure if I'm gonna return back on time. <laughs> okay, so everybody will know then. You'll yeah. let everyone know. Okay, yeah. very good. Okay, thank you okay. everybody. We wish you may everybody have blessings and and uh, continue to pray for everyone. Good night. Bye. Good afternoon. Shalom. Bye. Shalom, shalom. Shalom.